Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. I hope you can hear me. I'm going to be reading If a Dolphin Were a Fish. And I wanted to read this book to you guys because today is our virtual field trip to the aquarium. So make sure that you have already gone on the field trip uh, to the aquarium. And, and followed all their the videos there and there's a little um, a little check sheet to see what uh, what you can see kind of like a scavenger hunt um, so let's go ahead and read if a dolphin were a fish by Lauren Ldarsky and illustrated by Lori Allen Klein Delphina is a bottlenose dolphin. She lives in the ocean with many of her friends. Delphina often wonders what it would be like to be other animals. If a dolphin were a fish, Delphina could spend all of her time underwater. But a dolphin is not a fish. A fish uses gills to breathe underwater. Delphina comes to the water surface to breathe air through a blowhole on top of her head. Right here is the blowhole. Instead of gills, a dolphin breathes air with a pair of lungs. So here is Delphina's blowhole, which is what she breathes through sort of like your nostrils. And right here are the gills of these fish. If a dolphin were a sea turtle, Delphina would lay eggs on the beach. <laughs> but a dolphin is not a sea turtle. A dolphin go, does not lay eggs. Instead, a dolphin gives birth to her calf underwater. A dolphin mother usually has one calf at a time. A sea turtle mother can lay more than a hundred eggs each time she nests. That's a lot of little baby turtles, but only one little dolphin calf. If a dolphin were a shark, Delphina could smell her food from far away. But a dolphin is not a shark. In fact, Delphina cannot smell a thing. Instead, she finds her food with her excellent eyesight and a special kind of hearing called echolocation. Now, echolocation, ladies and gentlemen, is when the animal sends out a sound and the sound they can hear it when it bounces back off the object so it can tell if there's a fish in front of it even if it's completely dark because they send out a sound and then it bounces back and they can hear it if a dolphin were a manatee delfino would on delfina would only eat plants. We see a lot of manatees where we live, don't we? And they are always eating those plants. But Delphina, she's not going to eat plants because a dolphin is not a manatee. A manatee eats plants. A dolphin eats other animals like fish and squid. So a dolphin is a meat eater while a manatee's a veggie eater. If a dolphin were a bird, Delphina would have feathers on her body to keep her warm. But a dolphin is not a bird. Delphina has a thick layer of fat called blubber under her skin to keep her warm in cold water. So no feathers, just blubber. If a dolphin were an octopus, Delphina would not have any bones in her body.
But a dolphin is not an octopus. A dolphin has a skeleton in its body made up of hard bones. Delphina has a backbone, skull, and rib bones, just like you. A dolphin even has five fingers or digits in its front flipper that are similar to the bones in your hand. No, Delphina is not a fish, sea turtle, shark, manatee, bird, or octopus. She is a bottlenose dolphin, and we love her just the way she is. The end. I hope you enjoyed that book. I want you to draw a picture and write a sentence about your favorite part of that book. Have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed your field trip. Miss you guys. See you later.